Hey everybody, welcome back to this Python tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about string slicing and indexing. So, how can we begin? Well, the very first thing I want to do in this video is explain a little bit of what we talked about in the last video. Well, first things first, we had a variable, yo. We assigned it the value lemonade. So now we have that variable, and we, could, we printed that variable by putting it within print. Now when it comes to indexing, we can print individual indexes, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, when we're talking about ranges, we use colons. So what we do is we use brackets. We learned about this in the previous videos, if you have no idea what I'm talking about. So uh, 1, 3, like this. So what it's going to do is print from index 1 to index 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So it prints EM. You can see the character at index 3, which would be 0, because it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, the character at index 3 is not included. It stops at b the line before the actual character at index 3. That's something important to consider. So if you want to print the character at index 3, you would have to put a 4 there. So if you're counting 0, 1, 2, 3, just think that it stops at the line. You see? Well, what we can also do is we can print in opposite order. So what we can do is we can print entire strings in reverse order. And the way to do that is we just use print, and then we put the a variable, just like that. And then we go, we put colon, colon, negative 1. Now let me explain this. When we don't put anything between here, these colons, just like we did up here, Python just assumes that we want the entire string. So what this is basically saying is saying, uh, I don't really want to start at anywhere specific. Let's just start at the beginning. Oh, I don't want to end anywhere specific. Let's just end at the ending. So when we leave these two colons here, and we don't put any values here, it's basically just saying return or print the entire string. This negative one tells us to print it in the reverse order. So we get idenomel instead of lemonade. Now, what if we wanted to print just a range? And we're not gonna put it in reverse order. Let's print, uh, let's, let's do this. We're going to print yo, and the range I wanna print is from index two to six. Now, before I print this, I want you to predict, pause it, and predict which characters it's going to return. And if you need a hint, just remember, it starts at index 2 and ends before the character at index 6. So it ends on the line. You figured it out? Well, let's figure it out. 0, 1, 2. So it's going to start right, right here. 3, 4, 5, 6. It's going to stop right here. So when you look at this, we're talking index numbers. We have 2, 3, 4, and 5. If we go one more, we have 6, but we're not including 6 because we stop at 6 on the line. That's the second number is telling us to print everything up to the character at index 6, but not including index 6. D is the index 6, because it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we had the character included, it would include D. But we're stopping before the character, which is why we get uh, Mona. Now let's press enter and see how this works. You can see it return Mona. Now, what if we wanted to take this string and print it in the reverse order? Well now, we have to say we want to start here and go all the way up to here. Well that means our indexes, the order of these are going to be reversed as well because we're starting on the opposite side. So this, the number we're starting on is higher than the index of the number we're stopping on. Now what we, what we don't want to do is we don't want to include, red. I'm going to put it in a different color to know that we don't want to include it we have the indexes 0 and then 1. That's a little crowded here. And then up here we have 
six, and then seven. So just so you can visualize it, we want to get this range. If we were to flip it so we want it to go this way, we're basically going to say we want to start at index five because we don't want to include the character at index six. So what we need to do is we need to start at character five. Let me get this good straight. Ah, can't draw. Oops. Yeah. I'm going to get a straight line tool. Actually, a curve line will work fine. So we want to start at character five, and we want to go and we want to stop before character at index one. You see? So in order to do that, we would need to use whoops, where'd my line go? What the heck? Alright, we need to go all we need to go this range. And we don't want to include character one. And we don't want to include character six. Well in order to do that, we would need to we would need the uh, colons to be like this. Five one. So let's explain why. We are starting at the character at 5, and we're stopping before the character that has the index of 1. So it's a little confusing this direction, because if we say, okay, start at 5, you would think, okay, we're going to start at character 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A. Okay, that works. And then we're going to go to character 1. Okay, here's 1, and we get E. But we actually don't want E. It's a little little confusing because we have to think of the characters 5, 4, 3, 2, and then stop before character 1. Let me erase these little green dots here. Kind of bugging me. All right, so let's try this out. We're going to have 5, 1, and then we're going to print that in reverse order. And we get a nom. So the easiest way to think of this is that we take the normal string indexes, so 2 to 6, and we just subtract 1 and then flip them. So if we wanted to print from, uh, from 2 up to character to number 6, we would stop right here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we just take those, we take index 2 and 6, we subtract 1 from each of them, so we get 1 and 5, and then we flip them to get 5 colon 1. That's the easiest way to think about this. So I know this video is like super long, and it probably made like absolutely no sense. But let's try let's try another example because I I just I think I just confused you guys even more. So <laughs> let's try it again. Let's say we want to print emon add in reverse order. Well, we can think of it first in normal order. So what range do we need? We need to start right here. And we need to stop before E. So we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we get 1 to 7. So we get E monad. Now if we want to reverse this, what we do is the first thing we do is we, uh, we can subtract 1. So we have 0 and then 6, and then you just flip them, so we get 6 to 0, and we, re we show that in reverse order. Oops, my bad, I forgot a uh, bracket here. And we get Danadenome, that's how I guess that would be pronounced. So yeah guys, uh, try not to think too much on the whole confusing index garbage. The easiest way to do this is just to follow this little pattern. 6, uh, 0 is basically this flipped around and subtracted 1 from each number. Really simple. And um, all the index stuff that I was explaining in the beginning of this video, I think it was just a little bit too confusing.
So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and um, hopefully I can explain things just a tad bit more clear in the next video. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe.